What's up, my lady loves? I'm Poke Cinema, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X Wonderlock. In the last episode, uh, we got to Denda Winda Benda. We got to Windamill Town, and now in this episode, we're gonna be taking on the Frost Cavern, Ice Cavern, maybe. I don't really know exactly what it's called. You might be able to tell that we went through an outfit change. Yeah, we we did. Uh, the red doesn't really match our character, though, unfortunately. They made some of the colors not the same as other colors, and I don't know why they did that. They should have made all the colors match, but for some reason, I mean, I don't think Pokemon really thought about what they were doing when it came to character customization. Blah, customization, excuse me. I can't really talk today because my tongue feels like it's being held by a cat, but let's talk to this fat guy. Hiker Ross sent out Vibrava. All right. Vibrava, I don't really know what type you are actually, so let's hope that Bob Hole's Surf can do a pretty good amount of damage to Vibrava. Vibrava is is beautiful, man. It's like the the beauty before Flygon. Well, it's only beautiful because it's almost a Flygon. Does that make sense? It's like saying Shellgon is beautiful, but only because it's it's almost a uh, a a. Uh, Salamence, there we go. Yeah, Dragon types are always bad until their final evolution. I've noticed, except for. Except for Garchomp. I like Gabite a lot, actually. Gabite is a really cool-looking Pokemon, even before its final evolution. But I don't think that there's anything good that we can get over here. So let's not go that way. Let's just progress the way that we are supposed to go. Because I don't think there's a lot of hidden items or anything. So, yeah, we're just going to go. And there's a Sky Battle over there. And hello, friend. What do you what do you have to say, Mr. Mister? It's a Mamoswine. Is something wrong at Frost Cavern, Mamoswine? Swar, swar. I guess that means yes in Pokemon. I don't know. Are you headed to the Frost Cavern, trainer? This mammoth swine here usually can't get enough of pe giving people rides throughout 17, but these days it seems to be worried about something in the Frost Cavern. Mammoth swine is a Pokemon that loves gold climate, so maybe it sends something amiss in that cave. Man, I don't know, dude. Are you sure? I think he's sure. But uh, let's not talk to these dudes. Let's just ignore them. I don't want to talk to you, man. You can call me butthole all you want. You could try to sweet talk me. That's not how this works. I think this is another sky battle over here. I don't really... I've never done a sky battle, actually. So, friend. Swy swy. Um, you're not going to give me a ride? Will you give me a ride? So that's why you're wanting to clear off whatever. All right, so be careful. All right, I will be careful, friend. And we got a little painter man here. Let's talk to him. Stop right there, youngster. I'm going to paint you a portrait. Don't budge an inch. All right, man, I won't budge an inch. I think all of these guys are just, like, coded to have uh, Smeargle just because it's like a painting Pokemon. I don't know. I think it's funny that they just gave these guys literally one Pokemon. Like, this trainer only has Smeargle. It's kind of, kind of pointless, but... Whatever, that's fine. Let's just go um, with Bubble and use a Surf on Mr. Mr. Smeargle here. Smeargle is actually a really cool Pokemon, though. It can learn some pretty crazy moves and some pretty crazy things, and I, I don't know. It just makes makes the game fun. Smeargle is a cool Pokemon. So there we go. We grew to level 49 with Simba. Man, we are growing these levels, like, insanely fast. I told you not to budge an inch. He looks really mad, man. I, I've never actually looked at his his artwork, but he looks mad. He, something's definitely on his mind, and wow. Look at this mountain. I forget about the little cinematics they have. They look so good. I love this game so much. Like, it's a huge step up from black and white and all those other games, but we need some repels, though, don't we? Uh, do we have any repels? If we don't, I'm seriously going to go... Oh, yeah, we have max repels for days. All right, here we go. Let's just throw down a max repel. And this place is a little tricky. And what I mean by that is there's a lot in this place. And there's a lot of puzzles in this place is what I'm trying to say. And uh, you have to go diagonal, which for me, I didn't know that you could... I mean, I knew you could go diagonally in this game, but I didn't really think about it too much, if that makes sense. And one of the puzzles actually requires you to go diagonal, so remember that, people. This is this is really hard. And ooh, Duo Blade. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I critiqued the design when I first saw it, but I absolutely love Duo Blade now. And I love Hone Edge. It's such a cool Pokemon. So here we go. Let's go for a Surf. And wow, that actually did a pretty decent amount of damage. Let's see what you are doing. You're switching your attack with your defense. Well, that doesn't really matter to us. One more Surf will be able to take you out just since you are so low. There you go, buddy. I honestly would have loved a Hone Edge, though. If we got a Hone Edge and a Wonder Trade, my life would have been complete. Because, And if we do, I'm definitely switching Pokemon because I want a Hone Edge. Hone Edge is like... 
I, I need it. I need it. I really hope I get one because if I do, I will be so happy. You will see a grown man cry. I'm not really a grown man. I look like a boy, so I shouldn't really shouldn't really talk. Rain or snow, it matters not. An ace trainer does not let anything get in his way. An ace trainer is an elegant or is always elegant in whatever he does. This means that he is to be an ace. All right, man. He's an ace hole. Ha! You like my joke? <laughs> no? Okay. I actually like the ace trainer's sprites or not sprites, artwork in this game. They look really really classy and class is something that I definitely value I mean you probably can't tell by the way I dress for recordings but uh, whoa my 3d is on that's why it's lagging okay but you can't tell the way that I dress for recordings but I actually love class like I like dressing up nice and I don't know like express shirts and stuff like that like I, I like buying that kind of stuff and wearing suit and ties and stuff it's fun it's a, it's nice it's good fun but anyway I switched into nibble snarf because the ground type advantage is gonna be great and man, Nibble Snarf looks like a freaking beast, though. I love him. He looks so good. All right, so we got 3,000 EXP for taking out that little tiny Raichu. Thank you, buddy. And that puts us at level um, level 50. And now Bob Hole is actually getting some nice, nice EXP. And we're learning extra sensor sensory. Um, wow, that's really, really powerful. Maybe we should get rid of a move for it. I might get rid of Water Shuriken just because it's. It's not that good a move. I I don't know. Quick attack would do us fine for capturing Pokemon. Water's, uh, Water Shuriken's a move that we really don't need. So there we go. Now he's going to switch in with a Marowak. And I think that means that we're going to bring back out Bob Hole. And I am definitely going to overtrain Bob Hole because, man, this guy's been the underdog for the whole Let's Play. And we need to get him, like, higher level than somebody. That'll feel so good. So Marowak, hello. God, he looks so cool. Look at him. He's like, you what, mate? You what? You think you wreck me? Well, you got it. You won't die, mate. Yeah, and he just died. That went from, like, UK to Australian in, like, two seconds. But there we go. Get some good EXP for everyone. And Pidgeot is at level 51. Wow. Looking looking nice there, Pidgeot. Definitely looking nice. And uh, Golduck is going to be the next Pokemon. So let's switch out to Simba and intercept his Water-type moves with our electricity and shock him to death. That's, that's Pokemon for you guys. It's shocking people to death. Cloud 9, I don't know what, oh, weather effects disappear. That's a really cool ability, I like that a lot. All right, well, let's go for a Thunder Fang, and that should be more than enough to kill Do Gold Duck, the blue duck that's not actually gold. Yeah, you're done, man. And we get some nice EXP for that, thank you. And that puts Delphox at level 50. Our Pokemon are really high leveled at this point in the game, and I am not complaining about it, I love it. This is great, I love being high leveled. It's awesome, because nobody even affects you, and it's just like, you're just all powerful, and you're some... Deity, I don't even know what I'm saying to be completely honest, but let's go diagonally and see if I can get somewhere I don't I don't know. I'm just trying to go diagonal because it's fun Yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you guys both my mother and father were hikers before me It runs in the family you see what makes you think you can take on an elite hiker like me? Well, I have water type Pokemon and you are most of the time carrying ground or rock type Pokemon. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to take you out. I'm pretty, pretty sure. So there we go. He's got a Relicanth. And this further proves my point of you always having that type of Pokemon. But let's go for a Surf and do some nice damage to this guy. It's going to be neutral. So, oh, wow. We got a crit, which is very lucky because I do believe that Relicanth would have... Would have I do believe that he would have lived. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I just sounded so posh when I said that and his Pokemon's gonna be Rhydon that he's gonna go with and Surf should be more than enough to take out Rhydon goodbye I love Rhydon apparently it was like the first Pokemon designed or whatever I don't know I like Rhydon though it's a cool Pokemon it's just classic and that puts Bob Hole at level 50 buddy you are really high leveled and Simba the same that's nice and Adriana wow everybody on our team is like dead even that's great I've been defeated what shall I do? My identity crumbles before you, me, me, not you. That's sad, man. We just, like, ruined this guy's life with one Pokemon battle. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I just wanted to beat you up, and you took it like a little wuss. So, yeah, I'm sorry, man. But let's go over here and get an Ice Heal. That makes the second Ice Heal that we picked up in this place. I mean, being frozen isn't really much of a threat in this game, but, yeah, you might as well get an Ice Heal when you can. Um, let's see, where should we crap? Okay, I didn't want to fight these guys, but that's fine. We'll just do the double battle. Double battles are the worst. The worst, the worst. Actually, you know what's worse than a double battle? A triple battle. Double battles were already bad enough, and then they introduced triple battles to the game, and I was like, ah, no, I was done. I was done after that. 
But we got Pidgeot and um, and our boy Greninja. Let's see. Surf is going to hit everybody. Oh, man. All right. Well, we got extra sensory. I completely forgot about that. And we could just Brave Bird the Grum Pig. And that should be more than enough to kill these guys. So there we go. Let's go for the extra sensory. That should be enough to kill. Wow, it didn't kill Harry Almond. Let's hope that it freaking doesn't kill us now. All right, Brave Bird. Oh, man. We could seriously lose Bob Hole. Oh, my God. Neither one of those killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. We got this. We got this then. We got this. This was scary as crap. Very, very scary. Um, uh, should we just go? I, I don't know if we should go. For, I'm just going to go for another Brave Bird. Uh, this is scary, man. I forgot that this is a Wonderlock and that if my Pokemon dies, it's dead forever. I really forgot. So, thank freaking Jesus I didn't lose anybody. But there we go. Brave Bird, and this shouldn't kill us because it only has like 3 HP left. Let's hope that it doesn't. Right, there we go, Grumpig's done, and we should barely get any recoil for that. Yeah, only two hit points. That's that's fine then. That's absolutely fine. But man, that's scary. I need to be more careful with my Pokemon. I honestly forgot until just now that this was this is a Wonderlock. This is a challenge. Oh boy, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Well, let's heal up our Pokemon, and uh, we won't be that dangerous coming up. I promise. So there we go. Get you healed up 89 hit points, and that's that's good, man. That's good. That's good. I think Team Flare's in this place. I can't really remember if they're in here or not, but I'm pretty sure they are. And we got a lady here. Yahoo! I met. Finally meet eyes with someone else in this freezing cave. Well, you did. And I don't know why I gave you a southern man accent when you were clearly a little girl, but <laughs> that's fine. All right, so you're going to go in with Sock. Oh boy, who should we switch into then? Um, because these guys are fighting type Pokemon are a little scary for us to deal with. Oh no, we have Delphox. I keep forgetting. All right, let's go out with Delphox then, because Delphox got the part psychic type advantage on these guys. I didn't even realize that I had Delphox. To be completely honest, I keep forgetting about these Pokemon. So that shouldn't do too much because uh, we have a type advantage. Our speed fell, unfortunately, which is pretty bad. But we have Rocky Helmet for some reason on this guy. All right, well, let's go for a Psybeam, and let's hope that we outspeed Payback. Crap, that's Dark type move. No, quit it with the super effectiveness. Stop. I am seriously angry about this. All right, let's go for the Psybeam. That's enough to kill the guy. Should be anyway, but man, these guys are tough. The game is getting a little tougher now. That puts us at level 51. Awesome, man. Growing levels like a king. I am definitely going to continue to, uh, to use this. Uh, Psybeam, you're 65. Psyshock, you know what? Uh, I'll teach it. I'll teach you Psychic. Just because Psychic is really good. But yeah, there we go. We're learning Psychic. Very, very good move. And Bob Hole is also going to be put at level 51. Nice. And let's see if Mine Shao for the last Pokemon. I'm going to be safe and I'm going to switch into Pidgeot because uh, this guy's at half health. And if uh, the guy hits me with another payback or a pursuit or anything like that, then I'm, I might be screwed. That might be the end of Delphox. So I don't want him to die. So let's just let's just go for a fly on Pidgeot to be 100% safe. And this should be, oh my god, Rock Slide? Dude, you guys got to stop having these moves. It's not cool. Not cool. All right, there we go. Fly is enough to take him out. Oh, that's a good game. Man, this is dangerous. This is actually getting dangerous. This is really scary for me. I'm not even exaggerating. Ugh, okay. Okay, we defeated that person. There's another fighting guy up ahead, and that is also scary to me. Um, but I'm going to switch into Simba, and we're going to use him for a little bit, so... I also want to wear off this repel that I have up because there's a po we can catch a Pokemon in here. What's this? Are you training to thwart my attempts to love to eat this karate chop? All right, man, I'll eat that karate chop. Karate chop was actually a normal type move in the first two games, like red and blue. It's kind of weird. I just uh, I played that the other day and I realized that and it was it was weird to me because I learned the move and it was normal type. Or was it something else that was normal type? I don't really remember. All right, let's just go for a Thunderfang on this Scrafty and hope that it's enough to kill. Man, these fighting type Pokemon are scary because they can learn rock moves. They can learn dark moves. They can learn all these different kinds of moves, and they're super effective against my Pokemon. I really, really need somebody who can deal with these guys. Ah, oh well. I need a fairy type, to be completely honest. I really do, and I would love a Mawile, or I would love just something, a good fairy type Pokemon. I might even replace, like, some of the Pokemon on my team. All right, next Pokemon is going to be a throw, and, ah, uh, 
Okay, who should we go in with? I'm gonna go in with Pidgeot, and I'm gonna go for a Brave Bird. Let's hope that Brave Bird will be enough to take this guy out. I think it will, and let's also hope that he doesn't know any freaking Rock-type moves, because these guys, man, you never know what kind of moves they're carrying. It's actually scary, so here we go. Let's go for a Brave Bird, and let's hope that's enough to take this guy out. Why are there so many Fighting-type trainers? And Oh, God. <laughs> rock Slide, no. No. Okay, it didn't do too much. Uh, I'm legitimately scared. I'm legitimately scared. Should we go for another Brave Bird? Let's just do it. Uh, shouldn't do too much damage to us, but these, this is scary. Why do all these guys have, like, Rock Slide? And Ah, uh, this sucks, man. This is freaking scary. So there we go. We killed the guy. And we got some nice EXP, but, man, these dudes are hard. They're freaking hard. I don't want to fight any more... Any more fighting type guys, please, 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 please stop having fighting type Pokemon. I can't do it. I can't deal with this. It's tough. All right, let's heal you up with that. And I'll probably use this full restore on um, on Delphox just because we need to uh, we need to restore his HP. He's a little low. And I can't use Greninja anymore on these guys because he's dark type as well. So that means that he has a disadvantage. But I want to run out this repel really quick. It's kind of... It's lasting really long time. Maybe I could just use this rod and catch a Pokemon in here. Uh, we'll try that. Crap, I should probably switch Pokemon. Nah, I'm not going to. We have Ice Fang and Fire Fang. If we find any Pokemon that are like, I don't know, pure water types or anything like that. And there we go. We got a Pokemon on the hook. Let's see what we got. It's a Basculin. I've never understood those things. I don't like them at all. Uh, it's level 30, so we might want to be really careful with this. Let's see. Who is the weakest guy? Who can hit this guy with the weakest possible move? I believe that would be Bob Hole with a quick attack. So let's just switch into Bob Hole and see what we can do. Or I could switch into... No, I can't switch into Delphox. Huh. I'm trying to think of what I can do. Aquatel, that shouldn't do too much to us at all. Yeah, I didn't do much. All right, let's go for a quick attack and let's... I don't think it'll kill. I really don't. But it might, so you never know. Alright, that didn't kill it. And Takedown's going to put this thing in the yellow, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss some Pokeballs at this guy and let him let him do whatever he wants. So let's go for some Pokeballs. Uh, I think we have a few Ultra Balls left. We have a Master Ball, actually, and we have a Net Ball, and we have a Dive Ball. Yeah, let's go for the Dive Ball, actually. I feel like that's going to work the best. So here we go. Let's go for that Dive Ball. And maybe we can catch this Basculin. I really... Wow, not even a Wiggle. Okay, Chip Away. Crap! That's super effective, right? No, okay. I'm really scared right now, man. These guys are tough. All right, let's go for an Ultra Ball, and please, please, Mr. Basculin, please, please catch. I need you, because I need a Pokemon to Wonder Trade away. I think you're the first Pokemon that we haven't caught immediately. Uh, where's my stylus? Oh, here it is. I found it, if I can get it. All right, what did you just use? Uh, crunch? Bite? I don't even know. We're going to go throw another Pokeball. I want this guy to use Takedown again because I, I can't use Quick Attack because that's going to do too much damage. So I need him to damage himself at this point. So so another Ultra Ball, and maybe we've wore him down enough. Nope. Okay, apparently not. Stop using Crunch, man. Not cool. Uh, I need this guy. I need to catch him. I'm not going to give up on this. You're level 30, and you're, you're a freaking fish. Maybe we should throw, like, um... What should we throw? I don't know. Let's throw a timer ball. I mean, this battle has been going on for a little bit now. Maybe this timer ball will actually catch him. Let's hope so. Please. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. We caught him. Basculin. Finally. This guy's a little bit tough to catch, I guess. I don't know what that was all about. It's just some simple little fish, but apparently it was really tough to catch. And Adriana is at level 51 now. Awesome. Awesome possum, people. Awesome possum. Hello, Basculin. What do you What do you got? I don't really care about you. Isn't it? Yeah, there's two types. There's a red stripe and then the... I don't understand those Pokemon. They never gave them any evolutions or anything, so it's like they're just pointless. But let's go ahead and connect to the internet very quickly. I forgot to do that before the episode. Maybe I should have just left my, um, my DS running from the last time I recorded. Because I, I record a lot of the episodes in the same day. Like, this is recorded as... In the same day as like four of my episodes or three of my episodes. I don't know. I like bulk recording. It's a lot more fun in my opinion. All right. It's Wonder Trade and we're going to have to save our adventure. All right. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. But let's go ahead and Wonder Trade this useless Basculin away. And let's pray that we can get a Duo Blade or some... I think a Duo Blade would be great. I would happily take a Duo Blade. I really would. 
It'd be great. Duo Blade and um, a Mawile would be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mawile would be great because then I could get rid of um, I could get rid of Nitto Queen and I could put a Mawile on my team. I would seriously love that. But then again, I would need a Mega Mawile thing for it to even be good. So I don't know. I guess I would rather have. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'd rather have, actually. <laughs> but we got this guy from the. S -S -S I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, buddy. Could Sezek or something. I don't even know. But here we go. Let's trade off this masculine and see what we get. Oh my gosh. We got a duo blade. Are you kidding me? Or not a duo blade, a hone edge. The Pokemon that I was talking about, the Pokemon that I wanted, we got. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to train him up off screen. Awesome. Okay, we got hone edge. I cannot believe it. I seriously cannot believe it. Let's take a look at him. Can we just like wonder trade and then just look at the Pokemon? Oh my goodness. Would you like to start the wonder trade? Yes, I would. We're not actually wonder trading anybody away, but it's level one. It's naughty and it's got swords dance and shadow sneak. Okay, I'm training this thing up off screen today. That's what I'm going to do. And we are using this hone edge because I love hone edge. But who should we replace, man? I guess I would get rid of Nitto Queen because we already have ground type covered and poison is only useful for um uh, poison's only useful for one certain type but man awesome I can't believe we got a hone edge people that's exactly what I wanted I'm so excited right now all right let's continue on though in this cave uh I don't know exactly how much of the cave we have left but we do need to progress because we took a long time wonder trading that pokemon away I did rather but yeah, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry, hurry. Let's go diagonally, though. Crap, 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 crap. Diagonally this way, maybe. Yeah, totally worked. See, the diagonal thing saves you a lot of time. But we get a max repel if we come over here, so that saves me, like, 200 or something, like, 500 bucks. I don't know exactly how much these things are. Let's go up here and go diagonally, and that should put us back here. Look at that, people. Look at that. I did it. And we got some more trainers in here, but let's talk to this. Is there anything here? No? Okay. We're just talking to the talking to the air. That's how we do things here. Um, I guess we'll still lead out with Simba. Why not? See what kind of trainers we got here. Hello, lady. Lady or man? I don't know. We'll talk to the lady. Lady, let's something Pokemon's health. Oh, she's going to heal my Pokemon. What a sweetie. What a sweetheart. Thank you. And we get a Hyper Potion for coming over here. I guess that makes up for the Hyper Potions that we've wasted today. I cannot wait to train up that Duo Blade I, or Hone Edge. I'm, I'm so excited. I seriously am in love with that Pokemon. It's such a great Pokemon. All right, let's switch Bob Hole out, though, to um, the front position just because we're going to fight a hiker. And you know how hikers are. They have all those ground-type Pokemon. Oh, no, I can't feel my toes. I think you got Frostbite, buddy. You need to get out of the Frost Cave. You are challenged by Hiker Elaine. All right, man. And you're going to send out a Graveler. Uh, let's hope that this thing doesn't have Sturdy. I'm pretty sure it's going to just because that's how this game seems to work. They just make the most annoying things possible possible. So let's go for a Surf and see exactly how much damage we can do. And see if he has sturdy or not. And he does. How did I know? How did I know? And of course you're going to use a bulldoze move. Which I think makes you faster, right? No, it makes me slower. Alright, well let's go for a quick attack then. Because this guy only has one HP left. And that's just going to just gonna kill him pretty easily. I like Graveler though. I feel like it's a, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like the way it looks. So there we go. We got some nice EXP from that for the whole team. And for everyone else, he's going to send out another Graveler. Let's hope that this thing doesn't have, like, explode or anything like that. Because that would be terrible. You know what I don't understand about Graveler, though? It has four arms, right? And then when it turns into Golem, it has two again. It's like, what was the point of evolving to the point of having two arms if you're just going to get rid of them? There are four arms if you're just going to get rid of them. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But let's go for a quick attack on Graveler, and that should be enough to take him out. Of course it is. He only has one HP. I could do anything and it would kill him, but good game, Mr. Graveler, and let's hope he has something else now. I want another Pokemon to fight. Something cooler, please. Something better. And we're learning Double Team. I'm not really interested in learning that move, so let's not. And let's see what else this guy has. A Carbink. Uh, what is that? What's a Carbink? Oh, it's a fairy type thing. Awesome, it's a fairy rock. Well, let's just go for a surf and hope that it's enough to take out Mr. Fairy Rock, man. Should be enough, unless it has sturdy. And it doesn't. Awesome. I don't know what ability that thing carries or anything like that. So, if what I just said was stupid, I would have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, hopefully that makes it okay. Alright, let's switch Pokemon, though. I don't really want to lead in with Bob Hole anymore. Let's just switch to... Um, 
Switch to Nibble Snarf. I love using Nibble Snarf, man. Nibble Snarf is like the king, the king of this game. Yeah, let's heal up my Pokemon lady. I don't know what you are saying because you use big words and me no read big words. Me no understand big words. It's just, it's a real hard concept for me. Repel's effect wore off. Would you like to use another? Yes, let's use another one and head up this way. Man, Repel really did go on for a long time for us. Really long time. Let's go up here and then go diagonally, and I think that puts us right in front of the Pokeball. Good job, man. I did it. I did it. Now let's see if there's anything else in this area that we can get that is cool or worth getting. Go diagonal. No, I didn't mean to. Well, I guess this is fine. We can go up here, and that'll put us by this trainer, but I want to see if there's anything else, though. Yeah, see, there's an area right there. Oh, crap. Um, I didn't mean to go that way. Let's go diagonal from this area and then go up and then go over and then over. All right. Well, we can get something over here. Oh, it's a trainer. That's all that's over here. Wow. You fooled me. All right. Well, that's fine. We'll fight the fat guy. Hello, fat guy. What do you have? Hiker Brent sent out Probobass. Does this thing have levitate? I think it does. I'm pretty sure it has levitate and I don't know if it's steel type or what. Um, I feel like it's steel type. Let's go for a dragon claw and see. We'll see exactly what type it is after this, and that's not very effective, so you are steel type, aren't you, buddy? Knew it. Okay, and I believe it has levitate, so I don't want to use any other moves. Let's just go for, um, hmm, should we stay in? I think we should switch out to Bob Hole and just go for a surf, and, I mean, this thing had sturdy anyway. Oh, it, it does have sturdy, doesn't it? I don't know, man. I never know with these Pokemon, so I'm just going to be careful. What did you just use? Sandstorm? That's okay. I don't really care about Sandstorm. Um, I could get buffed all day from that. It doesn't matter. One Surf is going to be able to take this guy out. Not a problem. So here we go. Let's just go for that Surf. And that's enough damage to take out Probo Pass. So goodbye, buddy. It was nice knowing you, friend. I, I like you. I like you. And we get some good EXP for everyone in the team. Delphox even gets some nice EXP as well. Nice. I'm getting a cold sweat from putting on such a terrible performance. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like kill your confidence or anything, but you are pretty garbage. But I didn't mean to kill your confidence. Okay, let's see if we can get to this this area. Um, how how would we get to this? We need to go one step lower. We need to be like right below that to do this. So. If we go up here and then go die, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, I want to get to that little area, and that's going to happen today. I'm going to get to it if I could figure this out again. Uh, all right, so we need to be right here. Now let's go diagonal. Okay, we need to be like three steps over. Okay, I'll figure this out, people. I will figure this out because I want, I want whatever's over there. Whatever's over there looks interesting to me. So let's be here, and now let's go like that. And yes, that put us exactly where we need to be. Oh, except this is in the way. Huh, okay. Okay, this is going to be tricky, but I'm going to figure this out. Oh, crap. All right, fighter guy. The secret to karate is always to have good circular movement. All right, man, I will try to remember that. I will try to remember to have good circular movement all the time. Let's see what you got. A girder. Not bad, man. Not bad. I, You know, I've seen conkleders, though, I think. Have I? Or is that in glaze? I don't, I don't even know the difference anymore. Whatever, let's just go for a Dragon Claw. That should do pretty good. Hey, you know what? E-Quake's stronger. Why didn't I go for that? I don't know. I have no idea. We're just going to go for another Dragon Claw, though, since I already went for one, and that should probably be enough to level us up. So here we go. Let's go for that big Dragon Claw, and that is good game to Mr. Afro Man. That guy looks like he has a bunch of warts on his head or something. I, I don't know. It looks, it looks funny, though. And we get some nice EXP for the rest of our Pokemon in our team. Thank you, friend, for for your stuffy stuff. Um, let's see if we can get to the front of this. Would this put us at the front of that? No, we need to be like two spaces over. We need to be like right, right, uh, right here, I think. No, 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 no. Okay, right here and then go, no, diagonal, please. Oh, we can't go diagonal there, can we? No, we can't. Uh, let's try, no, okay. We have to get to that somehow, like right in front of that. Or maybe this is it. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. Well, we figured it out, finally. What's over here? A, a freaking trainer. I probably shouldn't praise my people so openly, but her Pokemon have gotten so strong, I'm very proud. What are you talking about? There's probably someone in here who had been trained or something like that, but let's see what you got. A Medicham, 
Uh, really, that thing's not too threatening to me, so I'm not really worried about what it's got or what's going on in this Medicham's pants, man. Those pants look weird. It looks like a Bollywood star. That's what it looks like. It looks like Bollywood. Or like, I don't know, like um, the Indian belly dancing thing. It's a belly dancer. That's what it looks like anyway, and that's not, I hope that's not offensive to anybody. I don't see how it could be, but people take offense to some pretty dumb things, so I don't know. Hee hee hee, what do you think about me instead of my fighting Pokemon? Is she hitting on me? She's hitting on me. She totally is. Uh, I'm not interested in little girls. I'm sorry. But let's see what we got over here. There's got to be something major hidden back here. Maybe like a TM or something. Uh, there's a little area where you can go down. But what is this? A zinc. If that's all that I get from coming over here, then I'm going to be pretty disappointed. I will be pretty upset, actually. So let's see. Is that it? No, there's more. Okay, it looks like there's a whole huge area. Another, oh, there's a there's a TM. This was all worth it, people. How do I get to the TM? I will never know. Oh, it looks like I just figured it out. And it was Frost Breath. That's a move that always gets crits, right? I mean, not bad at all. So, I guess I figured out how to get Frost Breath. That's not too bad. Like I said, that's a pretty good move, I suppose. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just be continuing on with the regular story now. Sorry if that was not what you guys wanted to see. And sorry if it wasted any of your time. I just am really curious when it comes to Pokemon. I believe I've said this a lot, so I definitely do try to get all the stuff that I can. But I believe this is the last little area we have to go to. Hey, it's Trevs. What's up, man? It's really cold in here, isn't it, butthole? Is there something going on up ahead? Yeah, man, it's Team Flare. Look, it's the blue-haired lady. We haven't seen her yet, I mean. This Aboma Snow is a fine specimen. It's absolutely brimming with energy. The more we agitate it, the stronger its snow warning ability comes, making it something. I don't really care. Snow. <laughs> Snow. That's all it says. Hey. Uh-oh. Don't mess with Trev's, man. Hey, you Pokeball thieves. What are you doing here? What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we have grabbed all those Pokeballs? It was also we could catch a powerful Pokemon like this Aboma Snow. It's full of potent energy. Energy? You're not the brightest one, are you? Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't get to have all the resources. But that's why Team Flare is messing something. I don't even. Let's just be and be and be. I don't really care. I just want to fight you guys, man. I just want to beat you up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's fight then. Let's go, Team Flare. I want to show you the power of uh of my Pokemon. Yeah, Team Flare Grunt. All right, let's see what you got. Let's hope that you don't have some unevolved crap like usual. They usually have just unevolved garbage. So here we go, Nibble Snarf. Look at you, man, standing tall. I love Nibble Snarf so much. Such a cool Pokemon. All right, there we go. Let's go for the Rock Slide, and that is good game to Mr. Golbat, buddy. That is that is done for you. That's enough for you. And now Manectric is going to be the next Pokemon. So let's just stay in and go for an E Quake, I suppose. That should be enough to take this thing out. So what I'm gonna do off screen, by the way, I'll just tell you my training method. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to that little palace place with one of my Pokemon. I'm going to turn off EXP share. And uh, I'm just going to basically give um, Hone Edge a, um, what's it called? A lucky egg. And I'm just going to do the switch out method until it's strong enough to kill Pokemon on its own in that place. And I'm just going to forward the day and keep doing that until my Pokemon is strong enough. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but let's talk to this lady. Hmm, you're more powerful than you look. I wonder how much energy is inside of you. Ooh, that's a little creepy. Like she's planning on dissecting us. You are challenged by Team Flare Marble. Wow, I, I do like her little her little pose. I'm not going to lie. And she's got a Houndoom, a, per a perfect Pokemon for us to kill. Let's just go in with Nibble Snarf. And gosh, Garchomp is such a beautiful Pokemon. Like, it's it's crap. I meant to go for E-Quake. Oh, well. Hopefully Dragon... Claws enough to kill. It is. Wow, Houndoom is pretty frail, honestly. But that's good game to you, and wow, that almost put us at level 53. Bob holds at level 53. What? Oh, man. Good game to you. No. Not just strong. Too strong. Not ordinary indeed. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm not ordinary. I'm pretty extraordinary if I had to say so myself. <laughs> I have no patience for losing. Let's get out of here. Get out of here then, lady. No one wants you. No one wants you. Alright. Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, butthole? I'll admit. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but he is so sad and he calls me butthole. I'll admit it scares me. I don't like battling them, but we managed to protect a Boma Snow by pitching in there. I know why I'm the reserve type and I'm okay with that, but it's important to be bold. <laughs> okay, man. I really don't care about any of this. All right, Snow. Hello, friend. What's it? It looks like a Boma Snow is giving you something. A Boma Sight. That's great. Thanks, man. Snow. Nice. I, I snow sometimes, too. All right, well, now that we saved that guy, we can finally move on with the game. But let's hope that we have some escape ropes or something so that we can get out of this place very quickly so I don't have to... I don't have to try to get out, if that makes sense. I don't know, but there's... We gotta get a dust stone for our Pokemon. Uh, all right, we did it, though. Yay, we're done. We finally got rid of all of the storms and stuff in Frost Pattern. And look at this place, man. It looks it looks nice. It looks better now. It's it's um it just it looks good. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say or how I'm trying to explain it, but all the hail is gone and just the town looks a little prettier. It just it looks nice, man. Look what we did. We made a difference in the world. So let's head back to the PC though, and I'm going to heal up my Pokémon very quickly. Let's let's head over here. Where is it at? Hello. We, we need to be in here. This is where we need to be. So let's heal up our Pokemon. Hello, Nurse Joy. How you doing, girl? Hello. Would you like to restore your Pokemon? Yes, I would. You know it, lady. You already know. You already know. Why would I come to the PC or the Pokemon Center if I didn't want to heal my Pokemon? But anyway, guys, I am going to be training up Hone Edge off screen, like I said. Uh, I'm gonna be doing just some training. Hopefully you guys don't mind. I mean if I KO the Pokemon I'll be completely honest with you guys, but I really don't think that that's going to happen So thank you guys for watching so much if you enjoyed this episode Be sure to leave a like down below on this video or a comment or anything really it's all much appreciated guys Your support seriously is is amazing and I love to see your guys's feedback It honestly makes my day reading comments and I don't know just seeing the support that you guys give me So again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode